Fossil Pokemon are some of the most iconic Pokemon in the entire franchise, and are always some of the most memorable Pokemon from their respective generations. Aerodactyl is synonymous with Generation 1, and Tyrantrum is easily one of the best Pokemon in the entire Kalos decks. However, as iconic as they are, sometimes we have a generation where we just don't get any fossil Pokemon. Johto didn't offer any fossils, which is understandable because they initially thought it would be the last game of the franchise, and the patterns we see in most Pokemon games hadn't been formed yet. I mean, not to mention that Johto as a dex is just Kanto 2 Electric Boogaloo, but either way. Then we have four glorious generations with amazing fossil Pokemon, until we hit Alola in which we yet again get no fossils. Which understandably makes sense as Hawaii's fossil record is notoriously scarce. Then in Generation 8 we get the most controversial fossil Pokemon of all time including my second favorite fossil Pokemon, my special boy, Bootsy. And of course, if you disagree, then you'll have to tell me down in the comments because nobody can make me hate Dracovish. It is the best Generation 8 Pokemon and I will argue that point till I'm dead. But back to the timeline. Ah, we finally reached Generation 9. The land of hopes and dreams. And not to mention an obvious plot about time travel and a prehistoric themed professor. This generation should have amazing fossil Pokemon. But instead, we get a total of zero fossil Pokemon in the Paldea region. And unlike the other two regions without fossils, this one really doesn't have a good excuse. There are so many cool fossil Pokemon that come from the Iberian Peninsula, and so far they have chosen to use none of them. So I am doing what Game Freak didn't, and I am giving the Paldea region some amazing fossil Pokemon. Let's hatch some Fakemon. Now I decided to break these fossil Pokemon into two categories. The first one is what fossil Pokemon could look like if the time travel plot is actually correct. Which as my last video suggests, I'm not fully convinced that time travel is real, but that's besides the point. If time travel is real in Paldea, then Pokemon Scarlet missed an amazing opportunity to have the original forms of fossil Pokemon come through the time machine and roam throughout Area Zero. We know that fossil Pokemon that get restored through the restoration machines in most games don't give us perfect restorations, but rather the closest thing we can get, which is why all of them are part rock, except for the Abomination fossils, because they're already perfect. It's actually just because they're too messed up to even have the rock type error, but let's not talk about that part. But if we could pull fossils directly from their proper time without having to use a restoration machine, we could have origin form fossils. Here are some examples of what we could have had in Area Zero through time travel thanks to the amazing artist Rayman. His Instagram and TikTok are both linked in the description. These origin form fossils could have included this Water Dark Kabutops, Water Grass Cradley, a Dragon Fighting Rampardos, Dark Flying Archaeops, Dragon Steel Tyrantrum, and this... Hey, we're trying to replace Dracovish, do a different Gen 8 one. Ah, there we go, the Ice Dragon Plesiarcto. All these would have fit perfectly in a generation that explicitly states it can pull Pokemon from the past to the present. Now I know what some people are thinking. If we pull Pokemon from the past and bring them to the present like the fossils, what makes them different from Paradox Pokemon? Well, I think Paradox Pokemon are Pokemon that continue to evolve and adapt into the species that we know and love today, whereas the uh, fossil Pokemon didn't. Making a clear distinction between paradoxes that become modern Pokemon and fossils that didn't make it past the ancient times without human intervention. Now the other classification of fossil Pokemon that would have been amazing to see in Pokemon Scarlet is if we ignore the time travel shenanigans that are definitely a lie and believe the truth which is either the idea that reality is being bent around current Pokemon or these Pokemon are made through imagination magic mixing with normal Pokemon. Now this is extremely similar to Paradox Pokemon. I'm not gonna pretend that it isn't. The distinction here is that while Paradox Pokemon are based on myths and legends, these fossil Pokemon are based more on the imagination of, shockingly, dinosaurs. Much like traditional fossils, I decided to turn two modern Paldea Pokemon into fossil Pokemon for both the sake of nostalgia and my wallet because I paid to make these things for this video, so please say nice things. Once again, thank you to Subarashi, the link is in the description. The first one up is turning our ground dark crocodile into a water dark baryonyx, a dinosaur discovered in, say it with me folks, Spain. 
Baryonyx is a large theropod dinosaur that is arguably one of the coolest dinosaurs ever. It is believed that this dinosaur lived by the water and ate many aquatic animals, or Pokemon, which is how we got the inspiration for this water dark beauty that I have dubbed Prukinox, or if you want a more appropriate scarlet name, the Malicious Claw. I did adjust the letters slightly on Krukinox because Kruk Onyx sounds like Brock Harrison's spy name and Barry Dial just sounds like his DJ persona. Next up is a Pokemon that got tons of lore in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, but I want it to have a colorful backstory. We take the most bullied Pokemon in Paldea, Corviknight, and turn it into another Spanish dinosaur, the Pelicananimus. The Pelican... Pelicanimimus. Pelicanimimus. That word only took me a few takes to get right, but hey, we made it. Say hello to Corvanimus, or the Swift Armor. We take this old steel flying type and turn it into a steel fighting type. This ground dwelling Pokemon began its life humbly on the ground, but slowly developed the ability to fly to escape a certain natural predator. However, as Corvanimus evolved the ability to fly and became the modern Pokemon that we know as Corviknight, the Predator also evolved ways to keep its favorite prey in line. I personally would have just flown to like Kalos or Galar, but you stay strong, Corviknight. We believe in you. Whether we would have gotten Origin Armaldo and Bastiodon or Krukinox and Corvanimus, the point stands that not having fossil Pokemon in Pokemon Scarlet should have been a crime punishable by solitary confinement. I absolutely feel like we've been robbed and I'm really hoping that the DLC fixes this in some way. Please give us fossil Pokemon. Now I know what you're thinking, but Espy, what about Pokemon Violet? Well, you should have picked the right game, loser. I'm kidding. I agree that Violet deserves some love too. But the idea that an ancient Pokemon dies out, then gets resurrected, then gets the Genesect treatment thousands of years in the future seems a bit tough to set up. But if this video hits 250 likes, Violet will get some love too. Not quite fossils, but something that I think may be even more fun than fossil Pokemon, so make sure to hit that like button. Let me know what your favorite fossil was from this video in the comments, and make sure to leave a like so we can share this love to Pokemon Violet. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you next time when the adventure continues.